an inch off. That sounds good. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Cool. The usual. The usual. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. And, like, I, so I taught a workshop and then I did two shows. So the first show was just a regular comedy sports show. Yeah. And then this, the second show, there was a panel of experts. And it's very like the Armando Diaz setup where they do a bunch of stories and then we do improv based off of their stories. Sweet. So there's a panel of like specialists and experts at whatever. Every time they do the show, they're just different people, at, uh, specialists at different things. In, like for real? Yeah. Not, okay, yep. not pretending? Right, no, yes. Wow. Like people who actually know what they're talking about. I feel um, that's awesome, okay. And the hook is the panels, the panelists are either drunk or high. <laughs> or both. Because you can so, be high in Seattle. Oh, well, yes, 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 you? yes, you can. I went okay. to my first. Yeah. Dispensary. Dispensary. Oh thank my. You. So wait, you have like these really intelligent academics almost, mm -hmm. or like whatever, and yep. then just drunk or high? Yep. Yep. Do you, does the crowd watch them like pound drinks or smoke? Nope. They do it before yeah, the show? Yeah, they usually okay. They usually come in that way, or at least for the show. Oh some. my god, that sounds odd. Awesome. So what, what's yeah. their role in the show? Um, they take questions from the audience, okay. and uh, you know, it's interactive that way. Um, and then performers perform yep. off of that? Yeah, okay. there's like uh, six other guys and me, six oh other God. players and me, yeah, yeah, yeah. including Alex. Dude. So, oh my, yeah, it was a blast. What's that show called? Is it a regular um, show? Uh, dubious, uh, dubious, dubious Advice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Dubious Advice. That's brilliant. And so that's at the Comedy Sports in Seattle. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. The shop was such a success too. Yeah. That we kind of got to talk and we're like, this could be an annual thing. Like if the workshop oh, turns, like, can help pay for airfare and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. What was the workshop about? Just uh, acting workshop, which is what Alex really wanted for his players at comedy sports. Straight up acting. Yeah, it was like not minor like, stuff. Yeah, wow. It was not well, I guess improv acting, but right. um, oh. I didn't bring any scripts or anything. Yeah. But yeah, and they, they loved it, so. Does this line look okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. That it went really well. Yeah. Dudes. Yeah, it was supposed to be capped at 16, it ended up being 20, so. That's awesome. And, yeah. So. Let a few squeak by. Yeah. And what have you been working on here? Well, I've, um, the show at Marcus is taking up a big chunk of my time. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so it's nerve-wracking and exciting all at the same time. And that is the Romeo and Juliet? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, yeah. sort of, yeah. yeah. What is that yeah. all about? Uh, just a yeah, parody off of the original work of That's awesome. Shakespeare's original story. Yeah. And so we've done it before. We've put it up at Next Act okay. like five years ago, and this will be the remounting of it with some of the same cast members coming back. Cool. And some of the, you know, I, I held auditions, and all that jazz, so. Wow. And it's at the Marcus? Yeah, the Vogel Mall. Damn. Big step for old Schmitz. That's huge, yeah. Yeah. When, when does that, like how many showings, is that the it's right? Just, how long is the run? Yes, just, that's yes. it. Yes, uh, just a weekend. We just do okay. three shows. Cool. And that's, yeah, that's enough to start it. And then um, they have kind of, you know, they've shown interest in, in like in working with us. And yeah. if this is all smooth on both ends, they'd like to do this again next year with with a different Shakespeare show and yes. and King Lear. I just finished King Lear just recently. So that'll be the fifth and maybe final one, I'm not sure. So but, you're you're taking classic Shakespeare and you're rewriting it a little bit? Or how yeah. how do you so how do you approach that? Um well it's, I would say 90, 95% of it is contemporary dialogue. So it's, okay. you know, I, I want the audience to know what's going on. And yeah. I want it to be accessible in that way. Yeah. Um, and you know, the classic lines are definitely sprinkled in there. Yeah. But uh, it follows the story almost to a T. Okay. And, uh, and obviously a lot of bits and a lot of heightened situations and whatnot. Okay. So um, you make it, layman's terms, mm -hmm. based for the modern day. Yes. Um, and then 
mix, put some comedy in it, or is it mostly you're oh, going to laugh the whole time? Yeah, it's a comedy. I would okay, say sweet. it feels like a, a sketch show almost with oh, sweet. every scene, you know, lights go down, new scene. Okay. Yeah, it's... Sweet. Yeah, a lot of bits. Okay. Bits are good. Yeah. When, did, when was the first time you started writing, like, a... Would you call it just a stage play, or like a full play? Yeah, well, when's writing the first in time? general was the Gentleman's Hour. That was like my first, you know, writing sketches um, okay. and going down that road. And then when I wrote Rudolph, pissed off right here. God, so good. That was seriously like that was just for fun. I just yeah. wrote a play and then it sat on my shelf because I was like, oh well, that was fun to write. Yeah. But I didn't have any intention to do anything with it. Either. Yeah. And then. You know, people the Alchemist were like, hey, you want to do your Christmas show here? Yeah. Like, Wait, what? If, um, no, yeah, we did talk about that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of how it started. Yeah. So the first play you wrote was Rudolph the Pissed Off Reindeer. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was so good. Thank you. I loved that. It was, uh, yeah, it was fun to see it then, you know, kind of grow, too, when, when it got out to other places. Kept going. What happened with that again? Didn't a the theater, another theater? Yeah, but in Kenosha, the yes. Lakeside players put it on for three years. Like every other year, they put it on. So did you so get three like different times? Did you get like what is it royalties? Did you yep. get royalties for that? Compensation. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, so that's yeah. awesome. Yes. Yeah, I never thought of like writing something and submitting it to Hollywood, or no. Well, that would be a screenplay. I, okay, I have yeah, never written, I've never gone down that road. Okay, so screenplay yeah. versus... Just a play script. Just a play script, right. thank you. Yeah. I don't know the jargon. Oh, well... I'm yeah. a big idiot. You're not an idiot. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a matter of... I mean, there. it's crazy how many differences there are because I, I tried writing a screenplay once and wow, I got burnt off real quick. Why? What was the difference? Just the amount of... Um, uh, setup of like camera angle, mm. not necessarily even camera angles, but uh, I don't I don't remember what it was that really turned me off. To I think maybe it was. I think it was yeah, like you know, close close. Yeah, there was, was a lot technical of technical BS. I think so. Which okay. I think I'm sure you could start with just a play script and then turn it into a screenplay, uh. which. Obviously, a lot of plays have been turned into movies, so yeah. I don't think it'd be the most difficult thing to do. Yeah. But no, I have no, I have not. I've not, not even tried like a it. TV show. No. Yeah, just no. you liked the stage. I, I do. Awesome. Um, Jacob Wolfel actually and I got signed on to do something local uh, to write like a kind of a the it crowd meets the office kind of. Situ like situation, really? yeah. And I was like, "Oh man, this is a dream come true." And then we wrote one episode. And we thought it was great, and then I like, just like nothing ever came of it. Damn it! <laughs> Make that into a play script, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. No, it was, uh, and the the whole premise of it I thought was really fun. Is so the beginning of every show, of every yeah. episode, you would see a commercial, okay. and then the whole episode is how they made that commercial oh and you would watch just the amounts of you know shit sandwiches <laughs> that <laughs> yes yeah yes. dude it's like oh they only use that seesaw because that was choice three because these other two things fell that's through that's cool like, yeah it was it was a fun you know kind of ready backwards yeah oh man yeah and that just never no one ever gave a shit about it no it it didn't even get Put up or like it never got filmed, it never got anything. It just got oh. written, and then yeah. and then that was it. That was it, and then it was like, oh yeah, well yeah, we're not. And I guess that stuff happens all the freaking time. That sucks. Yeah. Because then like Bill Cosby swoops in and steals it. Bill <laughs> Cosby, wow, good. Yep. Too soon. Yes. Well, too late. Too, too late. Damn it, you're right. Do you want your eyebrows trimmed? Yes. Thanks. Uh, you know, the usual. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me the history of Sketch 22 for those sure. who don't know about it? 
Well, there were two other groups that were doing guerrilla theater. One was uh, Al uh, Alamo Basement, I think was the name of their group. Oh, okay. that, um, I, I mean, that was the name of their sketch comedy group. I don't know if that was a group that also did play in the day. Oh, um, but they yeah. were like a local group and very, you know, grassroots. And yeah. then there was the, the big dogs, the combat theater yeah. was also happening. Okay. And so I was like, you know, this guerrilla theater thing really sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. And I, you know, just through, you know, the comedy fest and all this stuff that was happening and these comedy, uh, the yeah. and improv and Alchemist and uh, yeah. Bucket Works, all this stuff that was, you know, all these people that I knew, I'm like, we could do one of those. Let's just get a group together and see what happens. Yeah. And it started out pretty small. It was, you know, eight, I think it was only eight scripts and three people in each. And now it's 10 scripts with four people in each. So it, it's grown. But yeah, that just kind of started as a... You do them for charity, right? Yeah, every yeah. time it's for a different charity. The performers, I just go on seniority order. So who's ever next? in line gets oh, to choose the what the charity goes to. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So when it, is the next one like this month? Yeah, July 20th. Yep. Oh my god, in like a couple weekends. Yeah, not this Saturday, but next. Yep. Yeah, who's the charity? Uh, this will be Planned Parenthood for the second time, actually. Really? Yeah. Very popular. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. So. Um, how does your hair look? Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching the usual.